this is the instruction for the volunteers conducting the mm, test. There will be four desks at the four gates of L1 and L2. Each desk will be manned by one or two of the volunteers who will be sitting with a sheet having four columns, code number, roll number, name and contact number. As a participant approaches you at your desk, you ask him whether he has already got a confidential code number or not. If he is already enrolled in an EVP course, then he will have his own code number already. Then give him a blank sheet and ask him to write his code number on that. If he says that he has forgotten his code number, then from our record, that code number can be found out and can be told to him. On the other hand, majority of the participants will be new and they will not have a prior code number. In that case, you ask him his roll number. If he is a student, then his roll number you note down at the column roll number and the corresponding code you write on his answer sheet and give him the answer sheet. That is his confidential code number. On the other hand, if somebody other than student comes, then he will not have a roll number. In that case, you ask him his name and contact number. It may be staff, it may be family member or anybody. So students will be identified by roll number alone. Anybody else will be identified by name and contact number. After this, you will ask them to take a seat in L1 or L2, whichever at the time is the one which is collecting the participants. That will be told to you at the venue. Once we will first start with L1, after we have a sizable number at, in L1, then we will stop entry to L1, then onwards you will send further participants to L2. At that point, inside hall, there should be some of the volunteers who will be helping in the uh, conduct of the test. In the conduct of the test, we will use two screens in every hall. One is the normal screen, which is there in, the, in every lecture hall. For the other one, we will have a screen with a stand and another additional projector. And in the two screens, we will display two pages of the question paper at one time and the scheduling of that is what we will discuss next.